Urban Therapy with Sun Sun 752 and this is your daily go get em ism number 568 for April 23rd, 2016. Mm, excuse me. Tonight, I want to talk to y'all about the dog personality versus the cat personality and what it means to, to us. So, you know, you do have a such thing as dog people and cat people. Like, uh,. You know, I mean, and that's not to say that you only like cats or you only like dogs or whatever, but it may have something to do with that as well. You kind of incorporate uh, some some of those things into the whole personality um, argument because, like, if you if you have ever had a chance to observe the way a dog acts or the way a cat acts, and you can see that in, in human behavior. Now you know human beings take on the characteristics of probably any animal, you know. But I don't think all animals can take on the characteristics of, of human beings. We have a way of communicating with each other that speaks to our senses. Which makes makes it actually harder for us to communicate sometimes. So anyway, this morning on the show, on the Daily Go Getemism show, I broke out this little this little website. This little website. Uh, 17, 17 basic differences between dog people and cat people. And it has some interesting things to say. Now listen, when when you're a dog person, what what I'm saying is I'm not saying that you run around sniffing people in the ass and jumping up on them and and uh and wagging your tail and, and having your tongue hanging out or anything like that. But the way that a dog acts, a, a dog is very accommodating. A dog is very a very friendly, eager to please. You know, uh, dog people may work in the service industry, not because they just like to give, but you know, they that they're enthusiastic, they're very energetic, they they deal with people in a way that is very very you know um, accommodating, like it's all about you when it comes to dogs. You know, all you have to do basically is feed them, and everything is okay after that. You know, cat people are a little bit different. Cat people, some people consider them to be sneaky. Some people consider them to be selfish, you know, because a cat will sit back and observe instead of proactively going, go, you know, going to people and interacting with them, you know. Um, now, of course, there are some cats who are, are are a little bit more gregarious. In other words, there, there uh, are cats out there that, are more um, outgoingly friendly or outgoingly um, sociable. But for the most part, cats will make you come to them. Uh, they'll come to you when they when they want something or they need something. Other than that, they sit back and, and observe a lot. You know, sort of analyze situations and things like that. So some of the things that they had to say about dog people and cat people on this list was very interesting, you know. Like, number one, they say dog, uh, there are more dog people than cat people in the world. I don't know. Maybe there are, maybe there aren't. You know, when you say dog people, cat people, whatever, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure if there are any ways to really prove that theory other than observing them. I mean, what are you going to do, take a poll? How many people are going to are going to answer that kind of poll? Are you a dog person or a cat person, you know? Most people don't even understand the concept. Now, I'm not going to say most people, but a lot of people don't understand the concept. So they probably wouldn't be open to being a part of those types of statistics. They would probably say, I'm not either one. You know, I'm a rat person, uh, a gerbil person, or a snake person. I don't know. Some kind of, uh, <laughs> some kind of uh, iguana or something like that. But anyway, one of the things that it says on this list that I thought was really interesting... They said they said that cat people are more intelligent than dog people. I don't know. I mean, most people think that dogs are more that dogs are smarter than than cats. Of course, there is a difference between being smart and being intelligent. Intelligence is your ability to learn, and smart is what you already know. So I don't know. I I would I would encourage you to. to I would encourage y'all to check this list out. Go to thoughtcatalog.com. Thought Catalog. T H O U G H T C A T A L O G dot com. Yeah. 
And, and check out the list. 17 basic differences between dog people and cat people. Then if you just Google dog people versus cat people, you're going to get a whole lot of results. But I thought this list was, was, was noteworthy. Now, one of, the one, one of the things that it says on here that kind of concerned me, kind of concern, concerned me um, more than anything else. It said, number 16, cat people are, are more likely to be atheists than dog people. Cat people are more likely to be atheists than dog people? Word? Now, I, I thought about it for a little while, and I'm thinking that maybe the reason, their reasoning behind that is because you know how cats sit back and they analyze things. They don't accept everything as, as the truth, even from people that they know. You know, they're going to say, uh, well, you know, let's, we, we'll take a look at that and um, analyze it and we'll get back to you. Even when they believe something, that they normally want a little bit more verification. So it's hard to say, but I don't. I didn't really like number sixteen. More likely to be atheist, although there may be some validity to it. Who knows? Who knows? But ask yourself: Are you a dog person or are you a cat person? Dog personality versus the cat personality. You know, I mean, are you the type of? Per oh, one of the things that it says on here is that. Uh, Cat people are more likely to live alone. Dog people are more likely to live with other people. But what about people who only live with their dogs? I know plenty of people like that. They don't have anybody else. They don't have any children or anything like that. It's just them and Fido. So I don't know. No. I think that you can find... It's probably safer to say that you'll find a little cat and dog people and a little dog and cat people probably everybody is a little bit of both and not anyone is all of one because if you are all of one it's going to be hard it's going to be kind of hard to get along with people that are anywhere near the opposite of that and and another thing when cat people and dog people are not evolved in their acceptance of each other, not necessarily acceptance, maybe I shouldn't use that word, but what I mean is their understanding of each other and willingness to to take that understanding uh, to an acceptance level. When that happens, you can, you know, heads butt, personalities clash, people wind up not liking each other when they both had the potential to be really good friends. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind, and anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours, and remember, the cat and dog people, I'm going to try to Google that. And find out which one you are. If you can find out if you're a dog person or a cat person, regardless of whether you like pets or have pets or whatever, you can find out a little bit more about yourself, and that can help you to be able to deal a little bit more effectively with the world around you. And, and I mean, there's no reason why life shouldn't be as easier as possible the, the more we learn. The more we learn, the more we grow. You know what I'm saying? The My Right Body Better Fitness program was today. Shout out to my My Right Body Better Fitness program people. Love y'all to death. And I'll holler at y'all later. Love y'all too. I don't know if that was dog, the dog in me or the cat. Peace.